Hello, um, this is Dorothy and I am sitting beside this gorgeous lake because I am thinking about how in harmony this place is both with and without me. Um, I am able to choose to be in harmony here but I could also be very disharmonious if I chose and that's kind of um, part of my Lenten reflection is how do I choose to be in harmony. Um, the Lenten readings for Monday are about renewal, about, um, or at least the ones that I'm reflecting on, uh, about the er, everything being renewed and uh, God changing things into this sort of beautiful vision of the lion and the lamb lying down together and being whole and harmonious and um, the snake uh, eating ash, which would be the sort of dis disharmony. Um, and I think those are tough readings at this time because everything is kind of in disharmony right now. But at the same time, as I look right out here, it isn't in disharmony. Only we humans are really in turmoil at the moment. Um, and as we are in turmoil uh, and as we are reducing our impact on the world, the world is actually coming into greater harmony and is renewing. So um, some of renewal is how you look at it and your perspective and I think that's kind of been part of my Lenten reflection. Uh, there's a quote from Gandhi which is Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. And I've been thinking about that a lot because um, that kind of reflects those three elements of uh, lion, lamb, and snake as well. So somebody could easily be churning and angry on the inside um, and saying something on the outside that was false to what they were feeling on the inside and then their actions uh, might be something even completely different from those things that they're feeling on the inside and what they're saying on the outside. And um, the harmony is when we actually bring those things together and we're acting in a peaceful way. And for me, the challenge is how do I do that? How do I find that place that is peaceful where I can not only um, bring that to myself so that I'm not churning inside and I'm not uh, feeling those things but I'm, I'm able to meditate and quiet myself but more importantly that I'm able to bring that to the world and that I'm able to uh, share that with other people and that, um, that I create uh, instead of a space of um, anger or a space of um, uncertainty or um, a place where people are unsure that I can create a safe haven. Um, that's something that I'm, I'm trying to work on and um, that's my practice is to work on that and I think there's a couple of ways to do that. One is through meditation. Um, certainly a place like this is the perfect place to do that. Uh, because nature teaches us how to be quiet and how we aren't the most important thing. Um, and it's also through looking at the bigger picture and seeing, you know, that right now my story is so small compared to how everybody is hurting in the world and how many things are happening and, um, you know, looking at things in that direction. Um, and then just also trying to listen. I think that's really important is just trying to slow myself down and listen. So those three elements are the things that I'm working on. And uh, that's my Lenten practice. It hasn't been easy, but I'm working on it. Uh, I hope everybody's staying safe. Take care.